What is up, good people? Jungle Link here. Hope you're doing well. It's official. The SEC has thrown in the towel with their case versus Brad and Chris. It's quite reckless to involve them to begin with. And now that that issue had been separated out from the rest of the case and headed to trial, SEC wants no part of it. And this was to be somewhat expected. A lot of the attorneys that advised us told us this was a likely outcome. Even Mark Fagel, former SEC regional director, said this is probably something the SEC wants to get away from. They weren't likely to win, and if they went to trial, people like Hinman may have to get up you know, on the stand and answer some questions they don't want to. It would be disastrous. You're in a no-win situation. This is not good. Look at what Stuart Alderati said. The SEC made a serious mistake going after Brad and Chris personally, and now they capitulated. Dismissing all charges against our executives. This is not a settlement. This is a surrender by the SEC. Powerful words by Stuart Alderati. You know, um, we had former SEC chairman Jay Clayton that thought it was funny, generally, to sue the individuals, add them into the case, try to rattle their cages, and it really backfired here. It's probably why Ripple was able to get those Hidman docs and a lot of different stuff because Brad and Chris uh, was included in this case, and it just opened up the floodgates to the type of information Ripple was able to go after. That harmed the SEC in a major way, and at the end of the day, they didn't even push the issue. They threw in the towel. They gave up. Now, what does this mean for us, the XRP investor? Well, that case was Brad and Chris personally. If you like them, you don't like them, that's great. But what I think it uh, does for us as XRP investors is it's just one more you know, legal situation that was looming connected to XRP, even if maybe not directly, that's gone. So now all we have left is some of Ripple's sales that were uh, deemed by the judge, Judge Torres, is illegal securities offerings. That hopefully can be settled out. They're probably arguing on the dollar amount. And if we can just put this totally behind us, it really opens up our runway here. No pending legal issues. Um, you just don't have this you know risk looming over are we going to go to appeals all this stuff just settle it out and life will be good if that happens or not i don't know from my perspective it's tough the sec really wants to appeal judge torres's decision because what they care about is the secondary market and in that decision she stated look the trade of crypto or at least of xrp on the secondary market whether it's brad chris ripple the company you or i that's not a security transaction because XRP itself is not a security. It's tough. It's very tough for the SEC to concede that point because what they really care about is the secondary market, Coinbase, Binance, and everyone else. They want to control that. And Judge Torres may have given them a little bit of an out where she said, look, this is only about XRP. This doesn't apply to the broader crypto space. This decision is the facts and circumstances of XRP and XRP alone. Is that good enough where they say, you know what, if we appeal this and go to court, maybe this is more damaging. Maybe it's clear that, you know, this applies to all cryptocurrencies. Do they try to get out of this case as well? Well, only time will tell. I think we are in a win-win position. If they do, it's signed, sealed, and delivered, game over, no more questions, no more, you know, legal problems looming over our heads. It's nothing but clear runway. And if it, this goes to appeal, it will take so long. We will be fully through the next bull run before this appeal is done. And uh, we will do quite well. You'll have full liquidity in the United States. And uh, XRP can do what it does. And it can grow and keep pace with its contemporaries like Bitcoin and Ethereum. And I think it'll do exactly that. It can only get better from here. I don't see a lot of ways it could get worse. But this was a massive one here. It just shows the SEC is fighting from a position of weakness. And they just straight up threw in the towel and gave up. And Gary Kensler is just getting smoked in court. And it couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Let me know what you think down below. And as always, please like, please subscribe. The revolution will be televised right here on Jungle Link.